EV103 was a multi-cohort study studying combinations of infortumab and um, in combination with different agents. Uh, EV103 cohort K was a randomized cohort of infortumab and pembrolizumab in combination. Um, patients were randomized to either infortumab monotherapy or infortumab and pembrolizumab. Uh, the study design was to look at the 95% confidence interval around the objective response rate as opposed to um, a study design uh, powered based on uh, progression-free and overall survival. It's a non-comparative phase two trial. Uh, patients received infortumab and Pembro, um, infortumab and Pembro both on day one, and infortumab alone on day eight, um, every 21 days. Uh, patients uh, were treated until progression or toxicity, um, and the results show that there's a 64% objective response rate for infortumab and pembrolizumab combination therapy, um, and a 45% uh, objective response rate for infortumab monotherapy. Uh, the the progression-free survival and overall survival um, data are immature, um, but are, look promising uh, at this time point. Um, the safety data suggests that there is an increase in skin reactions in the combination group, as you might expect, because it's an on-target toxicity for both pepperlizumab and infortumab. Uh, the manageability of the toxicities was uh, similar between the arms, um, although patients who received uh, combination therapy um, did have slightly higher toxicity rates. Um, the there were no treatment emergent new toxicities from the combination of infortumab and pembrolizumab. Um, they were essentially additive toxicities rather than synergistic toxicities, and no new safety signals emerged uh, compared to previous data. These data, I think, are quite promising um, and suggest that in combination with the data from cohort A, which was recently published in JCO, um, showing a 73% response rate and an overall survival of 22.6 months in cisplatin-ineligible patients, I'm sorry, 26.2 months in cisplatin-ineligible patients with metastatic urothelial cancer, that this may be a promising regimen um, for a patient population with a significant unmet need.